Hey guys, so I have an updated craft room tour for you today because I've done some rearranging. If you are follow me on Facebook, you can see I've rearranged quite a few times in the past couple of months trying to find that perfect setup. Um, and I think I have found it. Um, so I was thought, because I'm super excited about it, that I would post a video, share it with you guys. Um, maybe it will give you some ideas. And if you have any questions, certainly leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, here is the new space in its entirety. A quick little look through. As you can see, it's right next to my son's play area. And there are my two crazy dogs right there playing. <laughs> Don't mind that. Um, I really love this setup. I love that I can be down here with my son while he plays. This area right here is my stepdaughter's uh, scrap area. So she'll come down and craft every now and again. It's just a really nice uh, space where everybody can kind of come together and do their own thing at the same time. So here it is. Now let's get in um, to a little bit more detail. I do have a previous room tour um, that goes into quite a bit of detail last time. I hate, there are some things I have changed, so I will go over those items in detail, but um, everything else, just let me know if you have any questions on storage. Let's get to it. So again, this is my daughter's area, my stepdaughter's area. Um, she's got quite the collection growing here. She does a little bit of everything. She's really talented at making tags right now and doing art journaling. She's an amazing drawer, actually. Uh, so it's kind of exciting to see her um, get into that because that's how I was as a kid, too. So I hope she continues with it. OK, moving on. This is my desk space. Just your, uh, this is an uh, IKEA, I think an Alex desk. It's uh, really nice and solid. I, I got it for a steal. It was in the as is section at Ikea and I got it for $40. It's regular, like $150 desk. Um, don't know why it was in the as is section. It's perfectly fine. Um, but I took the bargain and I love this desk. Um, it's got a cord caddy in the back and a couple of drawers in it that just um, store random bits and bots. Um, this is my planner that I have yet to really get engaged with. <laughs> and in this drawer is again some random stuff on my We Are Memory Keepers ribbon for my typecast, my Canon selfie, ink and paper, batteries, cords, all that fun stuff. And next we have my cameo silhouette which i absolutely love um leave a comment below are you a silhouette person or are you a cricket person or do you use some other type of cutting machine i'd love to know um in a lot of the scrapbook groups that i follow it seems to be that there are a lot of ladies that use the the cricket um i i haven't used the cricket since the very first model um and then i tried the silhouette and I'm hooked. I love the design software and stuff. So just curious what you guys use. Uh, let me know. And next below that, we have this beautiful Project Life caddy that a, fan, a dear family friend made for me. Um, I sent him my drawing and he built it and it's wonderful. It's got all these pockets in there and I can just have all my Project Life cards right out in the open. I love it. Um, I'm very fortunate to have such a talented friend. <laughs> um, and then below that we have just some photo boxes and uh, my uh, brother P. Judge Labeler. And these little bins again hold a bunch of, oops, sorry about that guys, hold a bunch of uh, just random things. It's stuff that isn't as pretty to look at. But yeah, I still need to access it, so I keep it there. Uh, next up, we have albums. Those are all still work in progress. I still have to do the spines. Then we have my 
practical storage and then and these are fridge containers that I keep my stamps in. As you can see, it's easy to thumb through. Love that system. And then another bin of randomness. <laughs> then we have my Rascog cart that has gotten an overhaul. It used to be uh, for all my mixed media and I've since transitioned all that over to my desk. So now I house all my punches here on the top. I like it because I can actually get to them before they were in the middle and bottom shelves and they were just too challenging to, to get to. So I put them all here on the top and I can see what I have and easily access them. I'm getting more and more into punches and I really enjoy them so I wanna make sure I can get to them relatively easily. So my next here is my cuddle bug, some markers, my embossing gum, and acrylic blocks. And then the very bottom is kind of a catch-all right now. <laughs> Little bits of everything. I still love this cart. It's very versatile. If you don't have one, you should definitely get one. Uh, I got this one at uh, Target for $30. They have like a larger size now, I guess, and they're really blowing up with those carts. All right. Next section here, I have this clear little makeup caddy that I originally bought to put all my mixed media in, but these little uh, cubbies were too small. So I have my new system now, so I decided to put this up here to put our little bits and pieces in, whatever, just a catch-all really. Um, and it just looks nice. I don't mind it. I like the clear acrylic look. And then back here is just some mixed media papers and a little case, a little tin to hold random stuff. My beloved Canon selfie. And then just uh, for Skurs, a little mini guillotine trimmer and some other little decorations. These are the lovely We Are Memory Keepers stackable paper trays. Um, this size with the the fatter legs actually do not fit in the cubes, which is fine, it actually works out for me. But they do have a thinner one that I'll show you in a little bit that does fit in the cubes if you like it. I think it's $24, $25 for four of them. And I love that I can organize my cards up by color. It really works out great. Then next we have a cube in my cubby with my inks and white and black cardstock storage. I love that. That caddy system is from close to my heart. It's really great. Fits perfectly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up, we have my cube with houses all my kits in these fantastic envelopes. If you see my last storage video, they are, it's how I file my kits. I get these at Hobby Lobby. They're great, versatile, and they, they're just perfect solution for a lot of things <laughs> so and next up is another shelf I get some photo boxes and then this is where I keep all my paper scraps um, all organized by color easy to flip through easily get to um, I really love that new system of mine it works out great and then again at the bottom is some bins that just have some random stuff next cubby over is some more stamps and all my mixed media brushes and stencils again in the fridge organizers you can get these anywhere walmart amazon dollar general i think and then the last shelf over here is another shelf of albums and as you can see i start putting pictures on the spine i really love the way to i love doing that um <clears throat> i think it looks cute it's very whimsical and you can quickly see who the album's for and what year. So it's a really cute idea if your spines have these little uh, labels, label frames here on the binding. Okay, moving on over to the desk. I have, we'll just stand back a little bit so you can see it in all its glory. So I moved my desk over here so I could actually mount my camera system, my video system, and I know it's not pretty to look at, but it works beautifully for recording my videos. So I use my iPad, and then I got these two little lights from Amazon, which 
help out a lot because I have no overhead light and it also reduces a lot of the shadowing. So um, I have a permanent space for my videoing, which is great. Before I was using a tripod and I just kept knocking it and the camera would shake and it just really got super obnoxious. So I finally moved over here and created this little DIY stand and it works out wonderful. So I gotta figure out how to make it a little more pretty, but I'll work on that. And then this is the rest of my desk setup. I have a little stand here with my laptop where I, you know, watch YouTube most of the time when I scrap or listen to music. This is one of my new favorite finds right here. This is a file organizer, clear acrylic one. And uh, I do have a video on my paper storage and this is part of it. This is where I put my new hip kit that I'm I'm working with that I've opened up fresh brand new and that I'm gonna try and use I love being able to see all of it it I don't know the products are so pretty anyway and just having this system it's really nice to be able to just see and at a glance know what you have and and it really curd encourages you to use it I'm a person that I have to see my product or I forget I own it and I'll never use it so this is a really again a really great system for me I love it <clears throat> and then this was my other amazing Goodwill find. Again, it's on my, I, I just did a video on this as well with my whole desktop storage, paper storage video. But uh, this was a planter and it had these tins uh, in it that you would plant, I'm assuming herbs in. It was like a gunmetal gray. So I just spray painted it white and now it houses all my mixedia. Right on, right in front of me on my desk. I love it. Here's all my shimmers and magic powders and pearlies and stuff. It's just right there, which I love. And again, it's fun and pretty to look at. <laughs> I think anyway. Some people like everything tucked away in bins and boxes. And I do too if it's not visually appealing. So don't get me wrong. But this stuff, personally, I enjoy seeing. And I like knowing what I have. And I like it being accessible because I'm kind of a lazy scrapper. So I don't like going digging for things if I don't have to. So that's why this system works well for me then I have my second hand bin and as you can see it's another desktop organizer and so this bin is for once I have kind of worked through a kit and I'm kind of either I've gilded or I've exhausted I've used a lot of it um, or I'm just getting kind of tired of it I'm ready for something a new kit then I put everything in here and my second hand um bin so I still use it I just it's not my main main kit if that makes any sense um <clears throat> so I, I'm not ready to like file it away in my embellishment system or my sticker system or my paper system yeah I still want it easily accessible so I just move it over to this bin and um, and use it you know add bits and pieces to a layout as I see that they'll fit so that's my second hand bin. Again, I really love it. It still encourages me to use the old product even though I've gone on to something new. And then before we move on to the other side, I do have one of those, well, they're, it's a mock Alex drawer. It's from, or guys, um, it's from uh, Michael's and I got it I think for like $50. And this sits right on the side of my desk and I keep all my embellishments and tapes in here so you open it up this first drawer all my tape runner refills my foam adhesive my scraps and tape love it it's easy to get to drawer number two is all my smaller sticker sheets ephemera pieces loose ephemera pieces that I'm not yet ready to file into my iris containers so I can easily take these out or I can thumb through them right in my drawer. I, I love the accessibility here. It makes it really easy and I know where it is. Drawer number three, one of my favorite drawers. This is my loose embellishment system. I got these trays at Joann's for like $4.99 and I take everything out of the package and it's easily accessible. It's pretty to look at. I love it. Next drawer down, I do the same thing. Again, I love this drawer as well. It's very pretty to look at. It's on my wood veneer, so I did the same thing. Took most of it out of the packages or adhesive back, so I haven't taken them out. And then I can easily thumb through and see what I have. 
and the last drawer is washi and I've done the same thing with one of those trays um, I'll probably have to figure out a different system if I my collection continues to grow but I still have a few cubbies to fill so for now this works really great and I can quickly see what I have for washi stocks love these drawers they work out really nice uh, you can usually get them on sale for $50 and then you can add a coupon so keep an eye out for Michaels okay and the last side so I have another uh, cube unit these I got my cubes from uh, Target but they're basically the equivalent of a of a calyx unit from Ikea they often go on sale so keep an eye out for those and you can get a good deal on them and then so I have it sideways well I call it sideways I don't even know if there's actually a right way to put these but <laughs> to me it's sideways <laughs> so it's too high and then I use the top as a counter space and then over here, I have another one of those We Are Member We Are Memory Keeper trays. And as you can see, these ones have the smaller little legs. This is the size that fits into the cubes. Um, now I have no cubes to fit it into, and I actually use this for projects in the works or pieces I want to keep out and use. So that's the kind of the file system I use for for that for this tray. So, but it does fit beautifully into the cubes if you want to use it for paper storage. It's a really great system. I definitely recommend it next I have my beloved tool caddy I got this at Hobby Lobby I used my 40% off coupon so I think it cost me around $20 and I literally have all my tools in here and it works wonderfully I can pick it up I can move it around it has these little drawers for the tiny bits and pieces um, it's a really great purchase. So if you have room for one of these, because it is kind of big, it's um, like 11 and a half inches wide. So it takes up a lot of desk space, but if you have room, I definitely recommend getting one of these. It really makes it easy for you to house all your tools. And then next here, we have my Typecast typewriter, which I absolutely love. Um, my husband got it for me for Mother's Day and I I'm so glad he did. I absolutely love it. I love the look of typed font. And this really gives it that uh, original type font or typing look. Well, it's a typewriter, but <laughs> I can add that to my layout. You can get a similar look when you print it uh, from your computer, but it's just not exactly the same. So I really been eyeing one of these for a long time and he was sweet enough to get it for me for Mother's Day. So I thank him very much and I love it. And below, we have all my paper storage, and I have a video that goes over this. All my various kits that aren't hip kit, I keep them stored here, which is accessible. I quickly know what I have. It's very, very easy. And then I have these last few cubes that are just kind of random bits that I don't need to get into all that often, but I like that they're stored and easy to get to when I do. Oh. My favorite thing ever. This is a Creative Memories cup holder. It attaches to your desk. I bring it to crops. I leave it here when I'm home and it's amazing. You don't get wet rings on your table. You're not gonna spill it on your layouts. If you can find these, I don't think they make them anymore, but I think there's similar products out there. If you can find one, purchase it. You'll be thankful you did. Okay. And last but not least, you guys are familiar with this cart, so I won't go over in too much detail with it. But this is my 6x6 paper pad and sticker side. And then this is my thicker storage. I got this unit from Michaels. I don't know the name of it, but um, again, this one runs about $50 when it's on sale. And it comes with these um, egg carton inserts, so you have like the... I think three cubes by three cubes. I just used one of those slots and I ran it up the middle and adhered it and then I have two six by six sides, which is amazing because this is perfect. All my stickers are accessible, easy to thumb through, my paper pads are accessible. I love it. And then it has this open shelf, which I got a couple of uh, scrap boxes in, um, well scraps and then memorabilia. And then it has two drawers, which I keep my iris containers in that have all my leftover embellishments that um, I sorted by color, which again is a really great system um, because I, I really don't like throwing anything away 
but you know, you just want something new and fresh. So I found that system work out really great to put my older uh, ephemera in. So yeah, this is my new space. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys do too. I hope it gave you some ideas. And if you have any questions on how I store anything or if you'd like to see uh, another detailed video on something that I haven't done yet, let me know. I'm happy to do it. I love these kinds of videos. They're passionate about organizing, if you can't tell. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit subscribe so you can see all my videos that I upload. And go over and check out my Facebook page, Instagram, at JGG Scraps. And I also have a new Facebook group, um, which is Jessica Grace and Friends Pretty Pages. It's on Facebook. We do a lot of fun stuff there. It's a great social network, so give that a get a look and maybe join us and have some scrappy fun and make some new friends. Until next time, have a wonderful day and happy scrapping. Bye.